Okay, team, tomorrow we got a CrossFit Classic. Kelly, it's a long workout, all cardio. Five rounds, 400 meter run, 30 wall balls, and 30 box jump. Tomorrow is hot, tomorrow is hot. So put a time cap on this, 35 minutes. Likewise, encourage progressions on this. The masters, make sure that make sure everybody stays hydrated. As a matter of fact, let that be the theme for tomorrow. Your warm up, now here's your warm up sequence. Okay, so your toe touch, you got your toe touch reaching across the body. Be aware of the back foot. Try to keep the back foot on the ground. You'll get more stretch out of your hamstrings, okay? On the, on the knee hug, whenever you do a knee hug, flex your foot, dorsiflex your foot right here. Flex this muscle, keep this flexion in your ankle. This is important because you'll see it in your skips. On your quad pull, on your quad pull, opening up the opposite hip, opening up the opposite hip. On the heel walk, same flexion with this muscle right here. Flex up your foot and then you're walking on your heels, walking on sticks, walking on sticks. The, the toe walk, the exact opposite. Now plantar flexion. Keep your foot fully extended as you walk on this. Heels don't touch the ground. This will segue into your skips. Whenever you're doing a skip, make it with a simple skip. They're starting to get the same pattern that they had in the knee hug. The A skip, it's a lot tighter and it's a lot faster. The heels don't touch, the heels don't touch. Then you go into your bounding skip. Think height, not distance. Think height, not distance. Same pattern with your foot. Same pattern with that lead leg. Hydrate them after the warm-up. Keep this simple. Hydrate them after the warm-up. Then for your uh, skill session, uh, box jump overs. This will set up the room, but it will also give them something to see that they'll see in future workouts to come. Five to eight repetitions. That all. They can go from a 45-pound plate masters all the way, all the way up to your advanced. Okay, this will set up the room, keep this simple too, hydrate them after this, and then get them out there on their, on their workout. Do the best you can with the fan, with the hydration. It's going to be a challenge. I look forward to doing this tomorrow, but at the same time, do be cautious with your athletes. After the workout, quad stretch, right? And then, and then the post-workout, post keep them hydrated. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to give me a call.